Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I just thought I would do a little impromptu get ready with me. And um, I thought I would show you a get ready with me with the um, Physician's Formula, the butter products that I hauled in my um, random beauty haul that I just showed. These were the little kit that um, I did from um, Walmart. This was, it had these four products and then a lip balm. And I was going to get that lip balm. Darn it, I thought I had everything until just now. So let me grab that really quick. So hang on. Let me get that. I'll be right back. Okay, I got the lip balm. I'm back. I'm ready to go. Anyway, I thought I'd just do a little get ready with me, a little chatty. Get ready with me. And I hope that's how you spell chatty. <laughs> if it's not, oh well. Anyway, I did some, um, got my skincare done, my sunscreen on. Anyway, and um, kind of just talk about what's going on weather-wise. I touched a little bit on it with... Um, my um, haul video but not a whole, whole lot because I knew it was going to be a long video and so I didn't want to do a whole lot of talking about it there. I'm just um, doing my eyelid primer. This is the NARS smudge proof eyeshadow base. Um, so I do live here in Muskogee and in Oklahoma and we are definitely getting a lot of flood waters and because of the Arkansas River um, because we're getting a lot of storms and everything, especially north of us. And so everybody is, their lakes are getting full. And so they're opening, you know, their dams. And all of that is going into the Arkansas River. And is here within, we are probably within five miles of the river. <coughs> and it's just everywhere around us. This one I'm putting on is my um, Jouer. I forget what this is called, but this is my skin, my skin, my lip, my lip skincare that I put on my lips every morning. And it's the Lip Jouer Essential Lip Enhancer Conditioning Lip Treatment. And I put this on my lips every single morning. So this is my skincare for my lips every morning. But anyway, so, um, so as, as of right now, we still have electric, we still have water. The city of Muskogee has done a really good job of keeping the water treatment plant um, barricaded against flooding. So they've done really good. So we haven't had any issues with not having water or not having electric. There have been parts of Muskogee that have been evacuated, which have been mainly east of where I live, which is where the river's at. Um, those places down in that area are just completely underwater. And what I mean by underwater, I mean there are houses that the water is to the roof roof tops, not just, you know, to the doors or that type of flooding. I mean, there are houses that are completely underwater. Um, I live far enough inland from the river that I don't foresee us having any flooding. Plus, we are also on a hill, so I don't foresee us having any issues with water damage or flooding because um, they are still predicting that the river has not, um, it's not done getting, it hasn't crested yet. And um, unfortunately, because we are expecting more storms, more water coming in, even later on the week, I'm filming this on Memorial Day. That that I just put on my eyes is a NYX, um, corrector in like a lavender color. I just like to put that on my eyes. But anyway, so, um, yeah. And the only issues that my husband and I are having to deal with is getting him to work because I've, I've mentioned, you know, a lot of times I'm going to use this little eyeshadow 
duo that came in that kit is that he is a water manager of three different water plants and um, this is the barefoot in Brazil and sundown and this is the Miramu baby butter eyeshadow duo that was in that kit and there's a um, matte eyeshadow and then like a shiny <laughs> I can't even think what this is called what is that called kind of eyeshadow <laughs> this is why I don't do <laughs> get ready with me anyway I'm just going to take this um, the matte one here and kind of just put it on the lid just as a base but anyway because two of the ooh, that is like really powdery which I kind of figured it would be but anyway because two of those um not eyeshadows, but water plants are north of us, which is to get to those, you would have to go over the um, river to get to those. And it, those roads are shut down. So it's been very difficult to get to them. What normally would be a 30 minute to 45 minute drive has turned into like a two hour drive to go around so that's been a challenge but um, the one pl plant in Wagner um, has been okay there hasn't been any issues with it other than just trying to get there so his brother who is his one of the guys that works for him at that water plant his girlfriend lives in Tulsa so my husband was like you need to just go stay with your girlfriend in Tulsa that way you can get to that water plant if I need you to, if I can't get to it. So, of course, you know, his brother was okay with that. He could go stay with his girlfriend. <laughs> but, um, so he's been staying there. So at least we know that there's somebody on the other side of the river that we know can get to that water plant just in case my husband can't get there. But, of course, you know, he's going to, he's bound to determine he's going to get there because, He's been the water manager there for 30 years, and you know that's his water plant. He's responsible, and by golly, he's going to get there. I'm going to take this, um, gosh, why can't I think of what this is called? This um, shiny shade. <laughs> and I'm just going to put it on the lid, the mobile lid right here. And so... So that plant, you know, he's not worried about. It's not in any danger of being flooded or anything of that nature. Now the other plant in OK, that's a whole different ball game. That plant, um, you can't get to it by vehicle because all around it, it's underwater. Which, to be honest with you, that's pretty normal whenever we get heavy rains. It always, because it's back in the woods. It's a little water plant services a small community that's by the lake and anytime it rains it just floods and you either have to walk in or get a four-wheeler or something to that effect is you can't drive in because it's right there by the lake and it floods so but my son is his um, part-time guy at that water plant and he lives on that side of the river the north side so he's able to get to it even though normally it's a 30 minute drive for him uh, it just doesn't have a whole lot of um, color payoff does it anyway so I'm really having to pack that on there so anyway he's able to get to it but once he gets to it you know he has to park his truck at the gate and wade in basically which is about a half a mile hike back in there, back in the woods. So anyway, so that's what I did with that. So I'm gonna finish off the look with the bronzer. I'm gonna put this bronzer in the crease. And I'm gonna take this brush here. I love this brush. This is a, um, my brain is not working. Why is my brain not working? Surat. This is a Surat brush. This is not a cheap brush, but man, I sure do like this. Let me look on here and let me tell you what it is. 
it is a no I can't see it I tell you what I'll put down here in this little box when I'm doing this when I'm editing when I see I'm, that I'm doing this I'll know to remember to put down there what this is because I love this brush I'm probably going to do a favorites video and I'm probably going to talk about this brush but you would think by the way that to look at it that it's too flimsy to work with it to be you know an eyeshadow brush but I really like it but anyway I'm going to take some of this bronzer here and I'm going to put it in my crease but see even when you're putting it well here when you're even putting it in here it kind of just flops around and it looks like it's just going to be a big old mess but it works really good I'm tapping that off because it's like really really powdery so I'm just going to put some of this in my crease with this it does the windshield wiper motion perfectly just absolutely perfectly I'm getting ready to go to Walmart here in a little bit get a few groceries I hate going to Walmart absolutely hate it dang this is this just isn't doing anything for me I'm not liking any of this anyway so anyway so those two plants are going you know they're okay they're up and running those people in those water districts have water no problem now his other water district that he runs is at Weber Falls and that one was on national news that's the one where the barges hit hit the dam now that town was completely evacuated because of the barges hitting the dam that town is completely underwater it is horrible and by underwater I mean there's a lot of houses that they're the only thing you can see is just the rooftops of those houses and he's been over there at um, that town every day from morning to night doing everything that they possibly can to get those people water because you know obviously there's not anybody in town but there's outlining because you know it's a rural town there's outlining people that are still there that are out of water because when those barges hit and hit the dam they also hit one of their main water lines that was in the river and broke it so their main water line that's in the river is broke and they can't get to it to fix it because the river is so high and there's not anything they can do so right now they are trying to run a line to a town called Porm and tie into their water system but they got to run a line to it to get to you know their plant and be able to buy get water from this water plant this town I tell you it's just it's bad and plus they're you know they're trying to wait on on FEMA to bring in you know FEMA could bring in a portable water plant but and it's not so much that it's the water plant it's the fact that they can't get water to the water plant to pump out to the customers because of that main that main line being broke from the river so I don't know and he's just been so stressed over it all I think that's all the best I can do with that I don't really like that but anyway that's that um, and then I got a Sephora eyeliner that I'm going to use let me put my glasses on so I can tell you the color of it tiramisu so today is Memorial Day I think I may have told you that that I'm filming this and um, he worked yesterday all day he was there he left out this morning at to go work on it and no telling when he'll get home so I love these they're waterproof and they last all day absolutely love these and they're the Sephora brand 
and they're ten dollars I love them I think they work so good and I'm just going to take this little um, brush here from Tarte it's a Tarte brush it's just like a little smudger brush and just kind of smudge that out a little bit I so do like this Try not to hunch down too much. And it's hard for me to see because I have my mirror like kind of over here a little bit. So I didn't want it to be in the shot. Anyway. Alrighty. Now we're going to put on some primer. And the primer I'm using is the Fix and Fix Primer. It's Tone Up. <laughs> it's a Korean one. They have some of the funniest names sometimes for their stuff. And it's in lavender, and it has a sunscreen in it, an SPF 33 PA++, plus plus plus, and it's from Etude House. That's what I was trying to look for is the brand. I like this because it kind of helps brighten up my skin. So, wait, and that's what it looks like right there. Wait till you see what it looks like on my face. <laughs> it kind of almost makes it look white. Oh, and if you watched my haul video where I showed that foundation, yes, it's too light. And yes, I took it back. I, I returned it and got a different color or ordered a different color. <laughs> but that eyeshadow, there's just like nothing there for that eyeshadow. I don't even like that. That was a waste of money, I think. That kit, it was like $15, which I know is not a whole lot, but still, it's $15. $15, that almost fills up my car with gas. It, my car only takes like $23 to fill it up with gas. I mean, see, now look, see, white. <laughs> but it kind of gets, cancels out all that redness and stuff that I have on my face. See, now I'm ready to put on my foundation. See, it kind of makes it all look like I'm getting ready to put on clown makeup. So I'm going to use my Becca foundation that I'm still on the fence about in porcelain. It's the Aqua Luminous that my daughter wants me to try. And she keeps asking me if I like it because I told her if I didn't like it, I would give it to her. <laughs> so I think, I think secretly she's hoping that I don't like it so she can have it. Because she's tight and she doesn't want to spend the $44 that it takes to buy it because she's out. <laughs> I know how she works. That's what she does. She's like, oh, mom, you need to try this because she knows, she really knows that I'm not going to like it. But, because she knows then she'll get it. Because I don't, I don't like to take stuff back, return things, especially to, to Ulta. Because I'm afraid that my account, that if you get too many returns, that your account will get dinged and they'll, um, delete your account. I've heard of that happening. And I don't want my account to get deleted because, you know, my daughter and I, we share an account. And by a sharing account, we've become diamond. And, you know, you get a lot of perks for being diamond. And um, I don't want us to lose our diamond account. So, if it's something that I'm not for sure if I'm going to like it or not, especially like if it's drugstore or something. I'll go to Walmart and buy it first. And um, this maybe this probably sounds wrong, but I'll go to Walmart and buy it first. And if I like it, if I don't like it, then I don't mind taking it back to Walmart. That's no big deal. But then I don't, especially if I'm on the fence about it, you know a lot of times especially with foundations from the drugstore because it's so hard to get color match a foundation from the drugstore because you just can't tell it's, it's hard to color match with foundation period 
but especially drugstore foundations. They just, I don't know. Their color tones are always so off. And it just seems like, you know, they go from, like for the light color, it'd be too light. And then the next color up is like 10 shades darker. There's like, there's no in between colors right there. It's just so odd. So anyway, boy, I need my, should have brought my little fan over here. I like for my foundation to dry a little bit. So anyway, overall, I guess we're doing okay with the, the storms and everything. The other night we had some tornadoes that were like one touchdown about five miles south of the house. Um, my daughter got aggravated at us. We didn't, my husband and I, we didn't hear the sirens go off at all. And she said they went off three times. They had gotten up and got the kids up and gotten their, their closet she has a closet downstairs that she's got all cleaned out that's you know their their safe room we never even heard the sirens go off at all we slept right through it and that was pretty close that's pretty close i'm gonna put my powder on and i have it in my little my little box here it's just a mixture of a couple of different colors of the cody airspun I had thought that it was breaking me out, and so I had quit using it, but I was still breaking out, so I don't think it was it. I don't know what it was. I, I'm beginning to think it was it's just hormonal, because it's, and it's just those really hard bumps, red bumps. They never come to a head. Um, they're just red and hurt hurt this hurt and it's always just like right in here is all only place that I get them so I don't know I don't know what the deal is with them but so it eliminated a lot of things that I thought it that was but then they just keep coming back so and I've I've almost, I have almost decided that it's the IT Cosmetics, the CC cream stuff that I use for foundation, you know? Because it seems like they'll get kind of cleared up and then I'll use that again and then they come back. So I'm almost thinking it might be that. And I thought it was because I had one that was kind of old, so I threw it out. And I have another one, but it's new. So, I don't know. And that's going to be sad because I really liked that. I really liked it a lot. So, there's my powder. So, now we're going to use this bronzer again that I used for the crease shade, which didn't really have a whole lot of um, color payoff. I'm going to use a Wayne Goss brush here, number 12. See, now that came off pretty good on the this brush, huh? Sure is a lot of fallout. Holy Toledo. Holy Toledo. But hey, that's kind of pretty. I know a lot of people like these. The Physician's Formula. Bronzers. These better bronzers. I think they're pretty. I don't hear people talk about them. All, ooh. <laughs> I just see myself in this. My computer monitor. Holy smokes. Shiny. <laughs> I'm not using my light and mirror like I normally do. <laughs> Good thing I'm just going to Walmart. <laughs> Y'all be seeing me on, <laughs> on on Facebook on one of those videos of people at Walmart, you know. Who, you know, those people, those videos with people with the clothes. I tell you, I worked at Walmart for 25 years, and yes, people do wear 
stuff like that to Walmart and it gets worse in the summertime. Summertime, people come to Walmart with hardly anything on. Yeah. Yeah, that they do. I just wonder. Okay, just because it fits, well, most of them don't, they don't even fit. Okay, now I'm going to use this highlighter. Now, I liked the way this swatched when I um, hauled it the other day. I thought it looked pretty. So, um, I got high hopes for the highlighter, and I'm going to use my Sonia G fan brush. So, I have high hopes for this highlighter. Let's see. I hope so. Yeah. That I do. Mm -hmm. Pretty shiny. Oh, it smells good. Oh, this one, this kit also came with the perfume. That's supposed to smell like all the better products smell, and it does. It smells really good. It smells like really good suntan lotion. So. Pretty shiny. Now we're going to use the blush that was in there, and it's a pretty light colored blush, so I don't know. And I'm going to use this um, Sephora blush. Pro, pro brush in it's the angled blush brush number 49 this was just a special edition one it was in the color I forgot what color this was it was one of the color Pantone colors of the year a few years ago eh, that's light I don't like that I don't like that. Oh. I like a little bit more blush than color pale from that. You would have to be really, really, really pale. It smells good. I mean, really, really pale. Get that to show up. Jesus. How rude. That shut me off. I put this on the other day after I hauled it. And it tastes like peaches. And it has a peach scent to it. So, it was really, really sheer. I'm going to put it on over this lip gloss. Or this lip liner, though. But on its own, it's really sheer. It looks pretty over the lip liner that I put on, which was an Urban Decay lip liner, but I couldn't tell you what color it was. Maybe I could if I looked. 714 from Gwen Stefani. So, alrighty. Now I'm going to finish off with some of my meteorites. Finishing powder. Got to put my brows on too, but I'm going to do that off camera because that's embarrassing because I can't do it good. I think overall, I guess, it doesn't look bad. It's just not as intense as I would like. But overall. I like the highlighter though, and the the bronzer as a bronzer is more is had more impact than what I thought it was going to. But as a crease shade, mm, not so much. All right, let me do my brows and my mascara, and then I'll be. Okay, I got my eyebrows done and my eyelashes done. And my eyelashes, I used this. Um, the Essence Lash Princess 
eyeliner. I'm not that thrilled about it, but I bought it. I'm going to use it. So, done. Not too impressed with the eyeshadows from this. And I finally um, thought of... Where did it go? Did I take it over there? Anyway, it's a shimmer shadow. <laughs> anyway, maybe it's just too much of a chromochromatic look. Anyway, not that impressed with it, but anyway, so I'm going to finish off with a setting spray. Um, this is the Manio Factory Rose Hip Oil Mist, and this is basically what I'm going to use just to kind of tone down all of the powder look a little bit. Really do like that. That's probably my third, maybe fourth bottle of that, and the bronzer, I do like the bronzer though. Um, so I do like that. The blush, I didn't feel like that had enough payoff for me. Mm -mm. I can't really even tell that I have the blush on, even off camera. I know the camera with the lights and everything wash out, but even off camera, I can't even tell. The, um, the highlighter, I did like. That was nice. So that was good. So that was two things out of there that I like. Um, the, the perfume, I like. So that was not a total bust. So I like that. And then as far as my setting spray, I'm going to use my Ofra Makeup Fixer. This was the one that was in the limited edition scent. It's a rose scent, but it doesn't really smell like rose. So I'm going to go ahead and just set everything. And then I'm going to go ahead and close out. I hope everyone has a great day and an awesome week. And I will be talking to you soon.